So the lesson for me is the following. We won the Cold War on November the 9th, 1989. Do you remember those pictures from Berlin? Yeah? As, as they started, you know, the people who were captives started to dismember, to take apart the, the walls that were keeping them in. But do you, can somebody recall, it's not a trick question, okay? November 9th, 1989, Checkpoint Charlie, yeah, Brandenburg Gate. How many shots were fired across that wall on November the 9th? None. Zero. Not one gun was fired. Not an AK-47 by them, not an M-16 by us. But we won. So how did we win if we didn't shoot anybody, if we didn't drop any bombs? We won because President Reagan destroyed their ideology. Two years before the wall fell, he went to the Brandenburg Gate. Do you remember? Yep. And he stood there in front of the Berlin Wall, and he said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. A sentence, by the way, just a little sidebar, that the State Department tried to remove from his speech six times. They said, this is inflammatory, don't say it. You can see the original copy of the speech, I think, in the Reagan Library. They've taken it out six times. So what was the Gipper forced to do? In the beast, in the limo, to the site, he had to manually write the sentence back into the speech with his pen. Right? Isn't that interesting? Wow. Right? The, the, the machine was working against him, right? So, and what did he do with that one sentence? It's genius. He said, tear down this wall. But he wasn't talking about a wall. Yeah, he was saying to everybody who's a captive behind that wall, uh, do you know why your masters built a wall? It's not to protect you from me. It's to keep you in, to deny you your liberty. That's what we have to understand now. Uh, this victory against the jihadists will not be in the final analysis a physical one. It's not going to be measured in tonnage of bombs dropped or body bags. Yes, we tried that during the Vietnam War. Body bags is not a good metric of victory, okay? Don't get me wrong, okay? I, I served in a CT, a counterterrorism reserve unit in the UK, I am fully, I am down with killing terrorists. I have no objection to that. But it's not the measure of ultimate victory. Why? Because you can kill one jihadi with a UAV strike. You can send in a special forces team to take out one guy. But what's going to happen if the next day 15 jihadis volunteer to replace him? So it's, it's a vicious, endless circle. So how do we win? We have to delegitimize the message of holy war of jihad, just like President Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, John Paul II did with communism. That's how we're going to win.